This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, three hours left to go on the trading day. And we got a positive market, it looks like, to wrap up the trading week. S&Ps right now up 27 points, trading at 29.45. We get the NASDAQ up 105 points, trading at 81.41. You're looking at the Dow up 197 points, trading at 26,505. Dollar index with some weakness, negative 301 ticks, trading at 97.285. We got gold up $10, trading at 12.8230. Oil up 40 cents, trading at 62.22. Notes and bonds, higher price, lower yield, 10 year note up six ticks, 123.11. 30 year bond up 14 ticks, 147.12. We'll start it off, let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. So it's been a rocket ship right since we got that jobs number, 260. 3,000 jobs added for the month of April. That coming out, non-farm payrolls, 8.30 this morning. Finding that on the chart, there's your 8.30 bar. 3.6% unemployment rate, quite a number. You have the Dow trading at 26,324. We're now a solid 150 points above that level, 26,473. NASDAQ 100, much the same, trading higher for most of the day, just off the session highs we made a few minutes ago, trading at 78.40. S&Ps, highs as we speak as well, 29.44 in the S&Ps. We came into that jobs number sitting at about 29.27. Gold contract getting quite an acceleration on the jobs number as well, trading at, well, back at 12.8205. Crude oil, higher prices as well. We were down there early this morning, finding 8.30, there we are, there we are. Even 62.17 as I look, so we're right 62.19 at that level. And as we've seen some dollar weakness, Euro strength, you got the euro inching towards 112, sitting at 111.95. Excuse me. In terms of what else you have out there, looking at some of the high flyers of this week, Apple trading up about eight tenths of a percent at 210.98. Tesla extending their gains quite a number. They raised $2 billion in capital yesterday. That number actually coming in at closer to 2.35 billion, combination of about 700 million in stock, 1.6 billion in uh, debt. Quite a number, so they have some cash for a while. Stay tuned, folks. We got a man, Steve Rhodes, coming up right now at the Trader's Edge. Dave White, live at 2 o'clock with the Power Trading Hour. And then, of course, Tom O'Brien wraps up the trading week, live from 3 till 4. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes, coming up right now.